the women of Hitler, aside from the atrocities, new laws, new policies, to make Germany great again. When Adolf Hitler came to power, what new actions, what new policies, toward the German women, did the Nazis implement? And how did these impact upon their lives? A desire for rebirth was strong in Germany. It was a common belief that the existing systems were failing. So a new kind of society was needed desperately. This was fascism in Germany. The Nazi party, a political party in Germany, starting in the 20s, ending in 45, a very male-dominated party. Hitler, Göring, Goebbels, Himmler, to name just a few, were all male. There were really no women in the highest levels of the Nazi party. This party which had a very traditional conservative view of women in society. Wife, mother, were the traditional conservative values. The main reasons behind this was that Hitler needed to increase the population quickly. A large growing population meant strength in the nation. If women went back to their traditional wife-mother roles, it would free up jobs for the men and ultimately reduce unemployment. To achieve this, new actions New policies had to be introduced to the German public. Some of these policies were New laws for the encouragement of marriage, such as financial loans. A loan of 1,000 marks to any married couple, as long as the woman gave up work. This 1,000 marks was loaned to this married couple, following the birth of their first child. 250 marks was taken off the loan. Following the birth of their second child, another 250 marks was taken off the loan. Third child. Same again. Following the German couple's birth of their fourth child, the whole loan was forgotten about. Hitler on his mother's birthday each year the 12th of August introduced medals to award to women that had a certain number of babies. These were silver medals, bronze medals, gold medals were handed out to women who had given birth to eight babies. Silver medals were handed out respectively. Other actions were the formation of the League of German Maidens. The purpose of the League of German Maidens was to reinforce Nazi views on women girls, motherhood. It stressed physical health to create healthy mothers, to give birth to stronger, healthier, German children. In school these young girls were taught only very basic academic subjects, and only to a certain level. Whereas from then on, 50% of their time was spent in physical exercise, building pure physical strength, for motherhood, for the Führer, policies that further stick in our world's shattered history, were also the Lebensborn program. This program, where unmarried women could donate a baby to the Führer. In other words, donate a baby to Adolf Hitler's Nazi party for the good of the nation. These generous patriotic women could choose to become pregnant to a racially pure SS soldier. Therefore they would have created the perfect Aeon child for the perfect master Aeon race. Furthering these actions and policies as so far as all were coming along very effectively. So now was the time to introduce yet even more policies into this rising fascist society. And these policies were new divorce laws. A man could divorce a woman for being barren or a woman 
could divorce a man for being infertile. Kasha's Nazi policies summed up in three words. Children. Kitchen. Church. Encouragement strategically handed to women. To give up their jobs. To have babies. To ultimately increase the population. To increase available jobs. For the German man. For Hitler. So they could ultimately rid the planet. Of the non pure Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party achieved their aim. Subsequently unemployment had dropped significantly. Birth rates had risen hugely. To achieve one of the world's ultimate evils the world has ever seen. These are just some of the actions, policies, of the Nazi party introduced by Hitler to turn his nation around to make Germany great again.